Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. If you've got to get that last little bit of crafting in, let's do this. Okay, so I'm working on the neutral journal. Let me reposition you. Hold on. Here's what my mess looks like. Let's turn it into a journal. Okay, great. Um, well, we've already started, actually. So here, here is our journal, baby. We'll pull this uh, little lovely out, and we'll keep working on her. And oh, oh, look how well you're taking care of your digi kits, Pam. Oh, that's very nice. Let's just crumple the heck out of them. Oh yeah, that's great. Now we got, we got creases. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can do something with that. Oh, getting an idea. Getting an idea. All right, let's move this box. Let's 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 work with the creases. Let's not fight it. This is the way it goes sometimes. I wonder if this is a faster way to cut things out. Let's try it. Okay, let's try two things. Let's try two things. Let's try this. Let's try cutting stuff out with a crap. I can't see you because you, you're way above me and lifting my chair up. Elevating the torso to join you guys up here. Putting glasses on. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need glasses for this. Um, yeah, we have, we have wrinkles. We have wrinkles, but maybe, 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 maybe this can be a good thing. All right, let's just try. We don't know. It could be all for naught, but it could be all for something. All right. Well, that was pretty fast. I like that. There we go. Got the little wrinkle guys in the middle. Let's just separate these apart and let's see what we got. Want even edges? Sure, why not? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll probably ink it up and have some fun with it anyway. Or we could stamp a word on there. That might be fun. Let's try that. Okay, so let me come a little closer so you can see what on earth. Yeah, we got like stuff going on. Or wrinkles. What if we just worked with it? What if we just, okay, let's just do this. I don't know. I'm going for it. I don't know. I don't know. I, it could be disaster. It could be awesome. But sometimes when you think you're just going to throw something, something, whoop, something out, take another look. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got lots of wrinkles. Okay, that's great. But wait, let's level it up. Let's do one more thing to it, just for fun. Just because we're here and we've never done this before and we could try it. Now let's wrinkle it up again. Let's show lots of the color of the front side wrinkle, wrinkle. Let me back up. Our old friend sanding block, sanding sponge, whatever you want to call it. It's the sand thing. Let's try this. I don't know. This could be cool. It could be weathered. It could be ridiculous. Oh, he'll come back here. <laughs> this could be the most ridiculous thing I've ever done, or it could be really cool. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Zoom in. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. I think we're onto something here. Um, I like it. I like it. It's going good. Let's just do a little more. A little more over here. Crinkle, wrinkle. Love, I love it when wrinkles are a good thing. Wrinkles today are awesome. They are working for us. We're sandblasting. <laughs> we're wrinkling. And the paper's getting all nice and so I am using um, cardstock. So that gives me a little bit more structure. Um, but something to think about, you know, if you want to do something like this, let me make a few of these. I kind of like that. I like it. I like it. I mean, even if you go right through, who cares? It looks weathered, right? That's really cool. It's very soft. It's almost like felt or material at this point. Let's do another one. Okay. You are, I think a darker one would show up well. Let's, let's do you. All right. You're nice and dark. Cause we get, why? Cause we get more contrast. Whoop. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let me back up. You're too close. Back up. Okay. No, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Okay, ready? All right. And okay, think. And the only thing you're thinking here is like try and show the the colored edges so that you can sand them. And then I'm, I'm talking like I've mastered this technique already. This is like the first time I've, I've done this, I think. And just wrinkle up another area, go in there, do a little sanding, probably use an emery board <clears throat> or just a regular piece of sandpaper too. Will work. Why not? 
<laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, now where's the little brown dauber? Because we're working with the neutrals today. We got black dauber and we got brown dauber. Um, vintage photo and black soot. Distress inks, distress oxides, whatever you have. Shoe polish, makeup will work. Don't have to have any of that fancy stuff. I'm just going to go around the edge. Now, if I go over with this, that's going to make these white areas brown. So I want to leave them... I, I just personally want to leave them white so they, they show up because they're already contrasting. So I want to do this one in black. Ugh, this was not the plan at all for today, but you know, these things happen. And then you just go with it. Uh, but with the, we are going to have an, a couple of... Uh, see, even though there's a little tear, I think that adds to the character because it's a weathered little piece. Yes, little weathered piece. I think you need more. There we go. Good to go. Pretty easy. Doesn't take much. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we even have breakthrough, which I think is kind of cool. I think that's kind of cool. Um, all right. Let's put them in our journal. Let's journal this up. We are working on the neutral journal. So basically working with blacks, whites, and every shade of beige, cream, brown, caramel, um, vanilla, um, whatever you like to call it. Uh, okay, so let's find a pretty page. Oh, you're very pretty. But we will not put you there. We have something there. Maybe something here. Oh, that would look nice. Let's see. Oh, very, oh that's very nice. I almost want to just put you in the middle of the page and honor you the way you are because you're so cool. You look cool there too. Okay, maybe just, I'm going to try a few pages on for size because we can do that. I'd like to go for a little more contrast. So maybe looking for the dreaded white page. Well, that's kind of sort of pseudo white. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? I do like that. Um, maybe I'll turn you into a little pocket. You'd be a cute little pocket too. All right, let's turn you, well, let's see what, wait, maybe we want you. Maybe we need a little black on the corners, huh? On the edges, pop you up a bit. You know, to pop you up against. So I'm, I'm using black and brown on these. I'm gonna come in with a little brown here too, cause, cause I can, and I have it out, and I'm gonna get my fingers all inky, and all of that. Uh, what? That's kind of fun. That feels like you're playing in the mud. Okay, this looks nice now. Yeah. That, I think, the black and the black, I think that pops nicely. And this has the um, stenciling. Let's do that. We'll make you into a little U-shaped pocket because we can. Oh, somebody needs to refill her Fabrifix. That's right. Fabrifix, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper, uh, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. If I, forget, oh, if I forget that one, we're in big trouble. Somebody, somebody call a marshal or something. All right, yeah. No, all right, there we go. Oh, I like that already. Yeah, that's cool. Now we have, what do we have? We have texture, we have aged looking, we have weathered, we have uniform theme with the neutral. So we are, that is considered rocking it. Okay, now we're gonna move into first signature. So spacing it out, I'm gonna put it in the the other guy in the, oh, that looks pretty. The third signature, because we have four signatures total. Oh, that's very nice too. Oh, here's a blankie. You have something there. We do like something here. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make you a little belly band. Maybe. Maybe I'm gonna make you a little belly band off to the side. Maybe I'm gonna make you an angled belly band. I'm not, I don't think I've done that. Let's do that. What is that, Pam? I have no idea. I'm just going to glue this top corner, and I'm going to glue this bottom corner, and I'm going to stick them down on an angle. Did I do the right angle? Yeah. And uh, do that. And then we're just going to forget about you. We're going to wipe up all the glue we just glob. Remember, you can roll your glue off, if, uh, especially if you have inky fingers. You can see where the extra is if you do it early on. There we go. Just leaving that and we'll, we'll just we'll just do something with that. I feel like I want to, oh, I, I almost want to decorate it as a Christmas tree. I, uh, uh, um, I don't know though. Okay, just back away, back away. Okay, so let's grab some stuff. Okay, I grabbed a pile of old ephemera-like stuff. Do we, oh. oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. I think we played with this already, but I, I feel like I want to do more with it. I don't know where the original one is. 
But let's start with this second. I'm going to, because I'm evenly dispersing things. So I did first and third signature, and I'm going to do second and fourth. Okay, I'm entering second. I'm just going to have a look around. Hello, little page tab. I love you. Little um, stenciled page. Loving you. Oh, look at you. You could use like, all right, I know what I want to do. Again, not knowing if this is going to work, but just trying it. And, and I would say invite yourself to have a little freedom and have fun. You don't always have to do the tried and true. I've done this. I know this is going to work. You can go off the uh, map. Okay, I'm just going to maybe try and do a, a side ruffle here. All right. Let me just get some strips of this. Probably one won't be enough because I'm going to crunch it up. And these are kind of easy to do. I think we've maybe done something like this before, but yeah, here we go. Okay, just putting some glue down. Probably any glue will work here. And just get, 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 kind of get it going. You know what I mean? You get it going, and then you stick her down. And pretty much that's it. You just get her going. Now, this is very thin, thin like tracing paper, onion skin paper. I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of cool paper. And it, since this one is, you know, folded and weird looking, I'm just going to work with it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to, before the glue dries, I'm going to get in here and crunch. Now you can, this is great for using little torn lost pieces, things like that. And this stuff goes flat pretty nicely, so. Mm, piece doesn't have a lot of writing on it, but that's okay because it's all good. All right, I need more. Oh no, it's coming off. All right, where, where's the rest? Here's a piece. Okay, keep going, Pam. Keep going, you're almost there. All right, I, I don't know. You can twist it. Why not? It's your journal. All right, here we go. Moosh, moosh, squoosh. Maybe a little more glue at the end there because, you know, we want things to stick. That would be very nice. Yeah, that would be, like, highly recommended. Um, okay, here's that last little piece. Don't need much here. I'm just going to get a little squash -a and a plant. All right. Now, if you're worried it might come up, you can put what I call the anchor thing down. And I'll, let me get that. Hold on. She will now attempt to do this with an embroidery floss of unknown age. <clears throat> this one isn't going to be really holding much strength, so... Oh, I've heard don't take it out of here because this keeps it from knotting. I will now attempt to test that. Weird things are happening. Oh, it's breaking through its own little house. Look at that. I probably pulled the wrong end. So if you pull the wrong end, you just say, oh well, and you carry on. That's all you can do. Okay, so I'm going to put a stream of glue down here. If you haven't seen the Fabrifix, this is the bottle, okay? And um, I'm just going to put what I call the anchor down the middle, okay? And then this down here. Give it a little anchor moosh. So that's going to help any little flyaways. And I can trim the top and the bottom. I just heard a word noise in my house. It was like a beep of unknown origin. Do you have, oh, oh, okay. There was delivery guy. That's delivery guy. And Sunny is now on full scale alert. Side of hand works well here because it's, it's not too gluey. There we go. A little push. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Sunny, for the high alert that Amazon has now delivered yet another package. Um, this goes on all day. <laughs> um, but he is my good little security guard. Yeah. Oh, no, Sonny, we know he's there. Thank you. Thank you. No, he's gone. And the truck is gone. Sunshine? Just want y'all to know that Sonny is not sleeping on the job. He is actually working. Security detail. Sunbun, so this is what we have. Yeah. That's kind of cool, huh? Do we have more? Wait, there's a truck still across the way. Hang on. <laughs> okay. That was second. Now we're going to go into fourth. I think things have calmed down. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Now we're going into fourth. So I'm evenly distributing the decoratage. Decoratage. Is that a word? It should be. Um, and the truck is now leaving. Okay, it's gone, sun bun. Okay. So I thought we'd have more fun with the string because you can do a lot with string. Hmm, that looks kind of cool. Let's do that. And if you have, oh, holy mackerel, there's a lot coming out there. Hang on, let me get a baby wipe. This is where you always want to baby wipe at the handy. Sun bun. <laughs> okay. We might have to get a treat. Hold on. Okay. We have provided a dental snack. You know those green things? And um, 
yeah so always have a baby wipe so that if you have something like this happen that you're you can clean it off quickly mommy glue is so excited to play today so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it okay a little more glue a little more glue and so you can take an element like a contrasting element like a black or a brown or or what have you not i don't know why i flattened that you don't really need to probably shouldn't have now i have a little glueage showing that's okay though it's okay because we can still roll it off while it's drying i have my baby wipe i don't know i just thought that was kind of cool so sometimes things don't have to be big and dramatic they can be small and simple and just a touch here just a touch there a black is a nice um, anchor color it's um a neutral it uh, brings depth and character let me see if i can roll this glue off i've been bragging about how you can do that i better do it right okay okay yeah that's good okay okay oh yes coming off you just keep moving don't don't stop you just take, keep going because it's still damp and you can roll it off there we go yeah almost up almost up almost up oh there we go very nice a little down here pull down towards the corner because that's helping it stick down and there you go um now i have a very crispy coffee dyed paper here which i don't know i think the rest of this is intact it's tearing a little bit there maybe i want to come in with the save with a um little tiny piece of washi tape possibly let me see if i can find one that goes nicely with this color scheme um something that's contrasting well, i have two and uh let's see have i got is everything working are we going yeah we're going okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you could do this this has little music notes on it and this has text on it so there's text here but no music notes so maybe 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 we'll do something with this now this where's my scotch create glue stick i'm going to use this as backup uh glue strength for this washi tape with which is low tack tape so we're never expecting a lot from our washi tape it's not really strong structure it's probably going to lift or pop off so if you really want it to stay maybe just give it a little extra help with a glue stick or a little extra glue of some sort i don't take a piece i don't know how long i'll try to start with that okay and here we go this is the thumb thumb trick do, 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 do. there we go that's how that is done Hmm. Let's see where shall I put it to give strength. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to. I don't know if I go around the corner. I can't go around the corner. Uh, but what I can do, I can slightly tuck. I can slightly. Can I tuck? I don't know. I have tucked there. Where's my bone folder? The bone folder of all bone folders. This is a well-loved bone folder, isn't it? No, it's just a dirty bone folder. And somebody didn't clean it. Okay, I'm just tucking that in there. Let me look on the back. Do I see that? Oh, it's, it's right there. It's okay. We're good. Um, I'm going to just keep going here. There we go. There, we'll just call her done. I put it on upside down. Look at that. That's the look I was going for though, right? Right? Yeah, because music, depending on where you are standing in the world, it could be read the other way. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, there. Okay, so now we, we're, that should not tear past there. We are good. We can move on. All right, let's, let's keep decorating. So at this point, I'm just kind of wafting through my journal. I'm going to look for any spots that still need something to be added, like, like how about the, a little about this journal. This is a note from the bookmaker. Um, I wrote this out. I have it. If you sign up for my free monthly email newsletter, this is at the bottom. You can print it out. It comes in two different formats so that if you want, you can play with it. I think it comes in Word and PDF or, yeah. So this I printed on, it feels like, just thicker paper it's not cardstock it's thicker paper and um you can change it up change the words whatever you like to do okay let me find my black nope. okay and put my stamp okay and I, I will sign it, sign it. Okay, find a pen. I know, but I, I pull pens out all day. I kid you not, all day. And then I can't find them. Does that happen to anybody else? Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. And now, 
from next chick. Uh, I think I would like to give this a little bit of crinkle factor. And she does it. Oh yeah, that's so, that's so good. I don't know, there's something therapeutic about it. It's like one of those squeeze balls, you know, for de-stressing. And uh, what? You want to try that? No, don't do that. It has words. You're going to mess it up. Oh, just try it. What? It's only paper. Okay. This isn't really dyed dark, so I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference. But we're just trying something fun and new. We got a new little technique we're playing with here. It's at least new to me. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. All right. Now, this is absolutely not necessary, but it's just kind of fun. Okay. That has softened the paper. Hasn't really removed too much of the wording. Okay, that was that was good. But I think I am going to go over it with light black and brown um, just to pick up the, the peaks of the little um, mountains I have created with the folds. Yeah, 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 that's what she's doing. And then maybe come around more around the edges with some black. And you can get it like fancy or unfancy on this part as you want. It's totally fine. Your choice, your journal. Okay, maybe like an angle like that, like that there. So it's not everywhere, but just some places. Okay, so we have this. Okay, now let's flatten it out. Hmm. I feel like I want to rough the edges up a bit. Okay, so let me fold it up on the edges so I have some edges. Do them all at once. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love this little thing. I don't know. It's just so useful. Okay, let's see what we got now. Yeah, so now we have more of a, like a little rough edge. So it looks like it you know, was found somewhere. The bottom of a you know, treasure chest or something like that. All right, that's good. I'll bring you over here into the fold. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's do something different with you. And the back, you can you can journal on this. That's right. It's one of those extra journaling things. I like to put this in the front so people have an opportunity to, you know, play with stuff. All right. I think I'm going to need a neutral altered paper clip. Hold on. Oh, look what we made the other day. Yeah, look what we got. We got stuff. We got stuff to play with. Okay, that's awesome. So we're just going to use one of these. You're not neutral. Go away. Okay, how about, oh, very simple. I do like that. That's text on text. Maybe something different. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try this one. You know what, check to see what's on the other side. Other side is clear. And this is on a very old paper clip, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I get a lot of these old, whoop, yeah, I can get this off. Um, these old paper clips with the old business papers. Um, but they're so cool. They're so much stronger and sturdier than the paper clips we have today. Oh my God. There we go. Put on a little angle. There. <sighs> All right. Check for fatness. What about there? I mean, when the book sits, it's like that. So oh, psh, yeah, we got, we got places. We got places to go. All right. So this, this is good. I like this. I'm, I'm just going to put the things we're going to plant in here and then maybe we're going to come back later and do some other things, but let's just go ahead and put the plantables. Get me out. Nothing there. Okay, maybe something here. All right. Oh, that's cool. I can't even remember what I put in here already. Um. Oh, this is neat. Granite and marble memorials. Berkeley blue granite. This is a receipt from 1934, it looks like. I think that's 34. And um, somebody must have been making, okay, mausoleums, monuments, headstones, tablets, posts. Hey, hey, we need them. Somebody's got to make them. I think I want to wrap you here. I'm just a simple, just a simple little paper clip. You're nothing fancy. All right, you're not fancy. We have to wait one that goes the right way, though. Oh, you have to come from the other side. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Oh, I like this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't show up enough. We want to put him somewhere else where he shows up. All right, let's get a white one then. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna work? Yeah, baby. Okay, there we go, and we're done. So your um, special pieces that you want to put in here, you can just paper clip them on. They don't have to have a pocket or a tuck or anything like that. They can just live in the um, the world of it all. Okay, let me see. Now, okay, now go into the next 
signature. I think I put a couple things in, so. All right. Oh, that's, we just put, isn't that nice? That's so nice. Yes. All right. Oh, look, we have an old voided check. This is from 1936. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We would look very nice there. Oh, I would like you there, yes. And you, you pop with the contrast, so that is good. We will work with that, yes. There are two pages stuck together here. Somebody remedy that. That would be me. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to put you here. And I have that other paper clip. So we need something contrasting. You're contrasting. Oh, and you will work. Look at you go. Look at you go. I know I made pockets and tucks. Where are they? Oh, here's some. Yeah, we have that in there. That's good. Okay, you are handled. Okay, now maybe one more thing. Did I do two? I don't remember. We'll just put another thing in for fun. Maybe we'll put it in the back of the signature. So this is how you sort of balance the book. Um, if you use a system, like put one thing in every signature, and then or put one thing in the back of every signature, then then you're rocking, smoking. Then you're rocking, smoking hot dog buns. Okay, what's this? These are some old articles of some type of importance. Maybe we can use those just to lightly decorate a page. Okay. What's that in the back? Oh, I love this. This is a piece of an old envelope. I love you. I love you. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Just splayed. Splayed. That's cool. That's a texture piece. Let me show you a little closer. Texture piece just for fun. Oh, let me stick that baby down. I, I yeah. It's so fragile, I, I, can't, I can't really do anything with it. I could mount it on something, but the mount I'm going to use is the page. And just this is for somebody to come along and feel and touch and like, oh, I wonder, wonder when this envelope was used. I wonder what, what letter it held. What was somebody trying to communicate with somebody else? Was it good news? Was it sorrow? Was it joy? Where did the letter go? Okay, here we go. And I love the fact it has that little postage half stamp at the top. Yeah, well, now we're, there you, you are here forevermore. And uh, there we go. That's very good. Yep. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I do. Um, okay. Re rolling over here, getting two things out. Uh, pun this is punched, and this is clusters. Okay, so I'm just going to put them out here to have them close. So this is sometimes why it's fun to pre-make things or mass-make things ahead of time. So you have stuff to play with when you come along to something like this. Now, oh, that's pretty. Somebody gifted me these because I don't have one of these machines, but I think the white side would look real. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, okay. We're going in. We're going in. Like this, you don't even have to talk me into it. Um, part of me wants to get one of these, but then I, I literally have no room for it. I, I don't know where I would put it. And then I don't know if I would use it all the time. I, I don't know. So yeah, I'm holding off. I'm holding off, but I really do think the pieces are beautiful. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, do, 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 do. Okay, right. okay. And uh, sometimes when you get to the end of your baby wipes, they get a little dry, but you can come along and mist them. Come here, mister, mister, mister. Rewetting you. Oh, now you're all awake, yeah. All right, now just tap you down a little bit. Now it's kind of hard to roll the glue off of here, so I'm just gonna tap. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to leave you. I like you. Subtle. Beautiful. Somebody could actually write on this. They can write right on that. That's right. Um, okay, so that I think was two things. Now let's do two things in the, in the next one. Okay. This is Paige. We could do something with you. We have you. Let's see what we have on the page. In the pile of stuff. Let me show you my pile of stuff better. Hang on. So, yeah. Okay, my, med my, my desk was spotless this morning. That's all I can say. This is how fast it happens. What are you? The North American Mercantile Agency Company from 1896. Oh, that's an old piece of paper. Um, that's cool. From Quincy, Massachusetts. So, oh, lost page. Where am I going now? First, all right, here. Um, okay. Oh, oh, wait, we have these little guys. These are from a digi kit. These are so cute. These are like their little, um, is what they did wrong. What did this guy do? Uh, I can't read it. Sometimes larceny. There you go. Little stinker. Um, I'm going to put you on here. Oh, I'm going to put two of them. That would be kind of fun. Or two here and here. 
We could do like side tucking, or we could do little pockets. Hmm. Or we could do one on either side. That would be kind of cute. Maybe two little mini belly bands and then tuck things in them. That would be fun. Let's do that. Okay, wait, wait. Let's do some contrast. Brown dauber, black dauber, you're up. Okay, found brown. Where's black? Can't be far. I haven't moved. Found it. It has now been located. Okay, here. All right. Bit black. This is going to help it pop against the page a little bit. You can trim the extra off or just use it as white contrast. You might want to rubber stamp something on there after. That's fine. That's all good. And you can crinkle and sandpaper these too, but I'm just going to leave them as is, I think. The crinkling and the sandpapering will add a little extra bulk to your journals, but hey, what's wrong with the little book? It's Christmas. We're all getting a little chubby this time of year, right? Yep. It's a uh, Santa snacking <sighs> going on. Maybe one up here and one down here. I like that. That would be very nice. Let's do that. Okay, so these will now not be belly bands. They will be corner tucks. Okay, putting it in the right corner, the L shape for the grand placement of it all. There you go. And then down here, turning it over, the L shape. Okay, there we go. Oh, I did it the wrong side. Yeah, look at me go. Okay, so what can I do? I can take it off with my wet nap here. There we go. That's how you get out of that. Then you reassess and you realize where you went wrong and then you just do it right this time. There we go. I, I can't tell you how many times I've glued the wrong side of something. I may have to come and address it. You know what I mean? Like make sure it's not sticking down on this side. I will address you. I'll stick you in there so you cannot, you cannot foible me. There will be no foible. Ah, uh, oh, cool papers. All right. Got so many, um, you know, when you start looking for neutral stuff, it's everywhere. All right, it's a box again. Let me dig here. Okay, found a few more things to play with. I have this Hall of the Iroquois ledger from 1893. And it got a little crumpled, so we're, actually these are my favorite pieces to play with because you can tear pieces off and use them, which is really fun. And this is a piece of an old journal page, um, and it was numbered in the corner. I love that. So I'm going to use that for like a stationary piece. I forgot what section we were in. Okay, that was here. I'm going to put something there. Let's see. Oh, it may be a little word. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Now, this has writing on both sides, so I've decided to honor the piece as opposed to glue it down. We'll just take a piece, and I don't mind that it's broken. I think it's kind of cool because it looks like it was salvaged. Because that's what it was. It was salvaged. Okay, so now I might have to cut you up so you fit. But it's... it's uh, it's very old paper, so it's going to tear nicely. There we go. And you're in. All right, now we carry on. Okay, now we're going to go... Did I do two? Maybe I do need to do one more, right? Okay, now go to the back of this one. Back of the third journal. Where are we time-wise? Uh, uh-huh. I'll go a little longer. What the hey? What time is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Here's a good one. Sometimes you need a rest page. We got a little fun. Oh, we were going to put something fun in here, right? All right, let's see. I got this cool piece of paper. This is an old, <coughs> oh, look at that. An old um, dictionary page. I love these. I love these, love these. I think that would look really cool stuck in there. This is the perfect width. Let's see if you will play nicely. I could fold you all up or just take a piece. Let's see. Let's try the piece. Well, let me try the whole thing. Let's see how, if it's too much, I'll just do the piece. Because sometimes it, gets, it just gets too fat, you know? It's as if there's such a thing. I know, I know, I hear you, I hear you. There's, there's not really, but... Um, and sometimes these belly bands, they can hold more. Yeah, it's like a good belt, you know? <laughs> there, that's good. Probably do a little more jazzing up to it, but that's perfect size. It fits, it's all nice and snugly bugly. So we did two in there. Let's go to signature number four. Oh, you're doing a little fraying at the end there. Well, we'll just take care of that. Yeah, okay. I think I just think that's kind of cool. Unexpected and kind of neat. Okay, so we're in the last... Okay, we could reinforce here a little bit. That might be it. the good place to do it. Where's the wider one? Here it is. Here we go. This is what we're going to do on the inside of the page. You're too far away. You can't see what I'm doing. Okay. 
on the inside of the page. There's a little cracking here. You see it? It's too close? Yep, too close. There's good. Okay, I am going to reinforce with this baby. And this will work. All right, got Scotch Creek glue stick. It's a nice glue stick. It, it holds well. There's lots of good glue sticks, but this is my favorite. Everybody has their own favorite. This is my favorite. Um, just find one that makes you happy. Yeah, we all have different needs and wants and desires, and it's all okay. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do the, um, the, the, I'm going to tuck it right into the fold. Yeah, the fingernail tuck, deep, deep. And then cross. There we go. Now this is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. That's right. It's going to stay. Yeah, it's very nice. Eh? And it actually looks aesthetically very pretty in there. Very soft. People can still journal around it and have their way. That is very nice. Okay, now we carry on. Okay, we're checking for freeness of pages. We're free, we're free. We have something here. Is that was actually in between two signatures? No, this is in between two signatures. So this was the first page. Just anchoring that in, so that's not going anywhere. Now I can I can sleep nights. Okay, we have here, there, but maybe here we want something. Oh, we have some Undine. Let's see, Undine. Oh, you are so pretty. Um, we got a little bit of color in you, so we're not we're not using any color. So maybe we will. Are you? You're a little not color. Okay, that's all right. That'll work. And we also have this this beautiful tree. Oh, I love that tree. I think it's a nice tree too. Nice color contrast. But I, I have this lace, and I was just, I would really like to, oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? That is just so pretty. Okay, we will make a very pretty side pocket out of you, because I love you. I love you, lace. If you're, if is that weird? You know how some people marry, like, toys and stuff like that? I could marry this lace. <laughs> I could. <laughs> um... Don't tell anybody. Um, okay, here we go. I'm cutting probably poorly. And this is probably really old lace too. But I want to I wanna exalt it in here because it's so pretty. And I think popping against the white is very nice. Now, here's a little trick. If you want it to be a little stronger, you can mount it onto a piece of paper and then glue it down. So we could try that. Let me find a random piece of paper. Okay, I found this half cut off random piece of paper in the scrap pile. I think what I'll do is I'll glue this on here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then I'll put it in here because that'll give it a little bit more structure. All right, so let's try this. No idea if this is going to work. We're going to try it though. Okay, let's put this on there. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. In my mind, this works so well. We'll see if it does really. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so we have a little more structure. And that's going to glue down nicely. Now, I should use regular scissors because this is paper. Okay, I have my... My scissors here. I'm going to cut just inside. Maybe below, like so you can't see the paper. Trying it. You could use cardstock too, that would work. Try not to cut the lace. I guess I could glue this side of it too. Yeah, why did I not glue that? I don't know. I was thinking goofy thoughts. Okay, I can glue that down too. Okay, I'll just cut this straight. Oh, I just cut off all my glue. Yeah, that was that was brilliant. Okay, so now we get to guess what? We're gonna glue again. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue in here because this can actually be totally glued because we're gonna glue the whole thing down. Well, at least the lace to this piece of paper we're gonna totally glue down. There we go. All right. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Are we a little long? We might be a little long. Oh, we're a little long. Look at that. That's okay. We can trim you. Actually, let me trim you here. Okay, now we're flush. Okay, and we just did a smidgy. Perfect. Oh, that's so. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to do the U-shaped glue. 
for the final anchorage of it all. And then we'll come back and we'll tuck something wonderful in there that I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it'll be something wonderful. Or maybe we'll leave it plain because it's so pretty we can't stand ourselves, you know? And then we just want it to uh, show its prettiness and its contrast and we'll let the person who owns the journal tuck something extra special in there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but reinforcing fabric will give you um, instant stiffness. Yeah, so that if you want to tuck something in there, it's very easy to do. Why can't I get my camera right? Okay, there we go. All right, so, oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm just like, you know, sometimes, and, you know, it's good as it is. You don't want to monkey with it as I'm monkeying with my camera. Okay. Um, there you go. So I think at 40 minutes, we are going to, did I get enough? Did I do two in this one? No, I think I did one. You better do one more. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do it like a quickie. Find a little, go in the back half, back half, Pam. Okay, there's mid middle, back half, looking for back half openness. Openness, needing, needing something. Oh, you can do something there. Oh, we could do something there or something subtle. Subtle in the back. Subtle. Oh, that's kind of cool. These are cool. Somebody gifted these to me. Aren't they cool? I think they're coffee filters of some sort. I love that. I have a, I have a bunch of these. Okay. Oh, maybe just put like a little, a little design. Oh, that, see, that's exciting. Nobody expected that. Oh, we got a sideways belly band. I love it. Okay, let's do that. Let's glue it together. <clears throat> okay, glue at the top. I'm gonna to think my way through this. I want the top to stick in the corner. Then I want this to stick to this first piece. And this, is this gonna be long enough? I hope so. You can, you can maneuver a bit. Okay. There, okay, maybe we have to move the whole thing down. Let's move it down. You always have a few seconds with the fabric fix. That's better. Okay, let's put you a little bit on top. Well, that was a lot. A little bit on the bottom. Now, probably have to come and put a little piece of don't stick me not. And what is don't stick me not? Don't stick me not is um, <clears throat> a little piece of temporary paper so it doesn't stick to the back page. So let's just get something in there. Is that the right width? Might be close. Let's try this way. All right, gently, gently. Hold your breathes. Hold your breathes. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. All right, we'll just let that dry. So we will tuck something absolutely fabulous. Looks funky right at the moment. There we go. All right, we're readjusting. There we go, and we're good. Yay! Okay, so I hope you had fun with this process. Okay, we have uh, Monsieur Sunshine from Snuggle Mouse. Hello, everybody. <coughs> I'm going to try my best French accent. Okay, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, I think I just turned Ukrainian. <laughs> yeah, maybe you did. Our grandparents are from Ukraine, right? Yes. And where else? Hungary. Oh, oh your grandparents? No. <laughs> okay. <coughs> but, um... We are a collective here, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So we, it's it's Christmas Eve, Bumble Bunny. Why don't you wish everybody a happy, Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope all of your papery dreams come true, all of your wonderful thoughts and wishes and hopes for the new year. And we are on the edge of so many possibilities. Just hang on tight, hug each other, love everyone, and have a and eat way too much. Okay. Merry Christmas. Okay, thank you, Sunny. That was very nice. All right. So, welcome to everybody who's new. For those of you who have not been around before, look, I have a big glue glob there. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter, and I will email you, if you sign up, um, a free digital image every month, and it comes multiple sizes on the one page, so you just print it out at home. It comes in... Um, Oh, I want to say JPEG and PDF. You know, it comes in two forms. And um, so you can play with it if you want to, um, or you can just print it out as is. And you also get a checklist of junk journal supplies to keep your eyes open for, a note from the bookmaker like this that you can print out and tuck in the front of your junk journals, or you can change the wording or the font or the text to do anything you like with it. And um, a page list of ideas, fun things that you can do that you can um, use maybe four, if you have four signatures, you can use them four different ways through a journal to help you decorate your journal. And um, 
Uh, what else? Oh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. 7 Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And then on the other days, if you want to watch video podcasts, you can see them on Spotify every single other day other than Tuesday and Thursday. And um, I, when I have them ready, I sell journals in my Etsy shop and bundles and kits. I always sell my vintage digi kits. There's over 190, I can't believe that, 190 different pick, uh, kits to pick from. These are, uh, you purchase the computer files and then you can uh, download them and save them on your computer, but you don't have to. They're always saved for you in your Etsy account under purchases. Uh, so if you can't remember where you put it on your uh, computer, um, that would be me. Um, it's always there saved for you. I recommend don't use Guest as a checkout to make it so much easier for you to find your purchases. Uh, check out using your Etsy account. And um, what else? What else? Oh, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper. There's antique ledger and uh, checks, receipts, postcards, um, over 100 plus pieces for you to play with. Lots of different textures, lots of different categories, music, dictionary, um, um, botanical, nature, science. Oh, you name it. It's in there. I'm always looking for on the hunt for cool things to put in there for you guys. And a lot of collectible things too. So for those of you who have a discerning collectible historical eye, you will find some interesting pieces in there. And uh, I do try and put a handwritten letter in every piece and I, I do not pre-read the letters. So you don't know. I don't even go into the envelopes. So you never know what's in there. You know what I mean? There could be like a gold doubloon and I missed it. So it's, if you got it, good for you. And uh, um, I have, uh, oh, if you like the idea of digital prints, but you don't like to print, you don't like your printer, you can't figure out how to work the printer, or it's way too expensive to print because it uses up, I know, I know, I've been there. I have a print and mail service. All you do is you buy the print and mail option on my Etsy shop, and then you send me your list of 10 names of digi kits that gets you 50 printed pages because each kit has five pages each. And uh, I will print those out and mail them to you. You do not need to buy the individual kits themselves or the individual digi kits, just the one flat fee for um, the print and mail option. And that does include free priority shipping. And I will ship that out to you as soon as I get your list. And you can send it to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, the list. That's my email address, Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. Or um, you can send the message right through Etsy message. Either will work. And... Um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and you're looking for links to those, um, check out my Amazon shop, links are down below. I have a merchandise shop, which is my t-shirt shop, so if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that for yourself or a friend or family member on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, um, tote, mug, or water bottle. And, um, but, but, oh. Ah, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and getting to see what you guys make from these videos. So lots of fun ideas, so much inspiration, and you're certainly welcome just to lurk um, and just get inspired. Uh, that is totally welcome. And also remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Go out there and have some fun. Merry Christmas from all of us to all of you. Take care. Bye.